Welcome everyone, my name is Michael. Today, I just want to do a nice, simple straight pour, um, okay? Using these cool metallic colors that I've been really liking lately from Shuttle Art. Um, most of them are metallics, these two are not, but I would like to go through the colors really quickly because this color palette I've been wanting to do for so long and I'm glad I'm able to bring it to you today. So let's start over here with, this is a metallic rich espresso, okay? Then we're going with metallic bronze, all right? We have metallic gold. Now this one's not a metallic. This is a just yellow oxide, lemon yellow. And now we're back here to metallic flash black. Then we have this really cool metallic teal and a metallic ocean blue. And of course we have our just normal titanium white there. And also this is um, the new version that I've been using of the pillow base. And you guys are getting used to it now. It's, it's the 70-30 pouring medium mix um, that I use along with um, the Artist Loft Level 1 um, soft body acrylic, and that is one-to-one -one with that pouring mix, okay? So you start off with a 70-30 pouring mix, which is 70-30 flow trot of water, and then you're doing just one-to-one -one with that with the Artist Loft. So that's how you do that pillow base, and that's what I'm using now. It used to just be one-to-one -one with flow trot. So we're trying out this for a while to see if we like it, if it makes maybe the paints run a little better, because it was a little just too thick with um, just the flow trawl in there. So, all right. Hope you don't mind that. A little chatty today. But, uh, all right. So, we're going to go into this pour. We're going to listen to some nice music. All right. And, guys, I will see you on the other side. Let's go. Would you hold me? If I told you we can just run away So come my darling, let me help you We can follow the sun and leave the rain for Somebody else that help ourselves Leave our troubles upon the shelf everyone i am back in here that cup is so awesome 
but I couldn't live totally on the edge there. I know I usually do. I usually go crazy, and I really did want to put that flash black in right at the end, but I just didn't know how I felt about that going in. Um, hopefully it works out just like this. Um, all right, so what we need to do now is we're going to need to put down that pillow base. All right, we're going to mix it in. Very lightly. We're not going to go too crazy. It's going to be light. I just need the paint to flow a little. And then we'll make our nice little pillow in the middle. All right. And then we're going to lay down our pour. Go back into some nice music. And you know what, guys? Again, it's very late. I'm very tired. I'm sorry. I'm talking a little low. But I will see you on the other side. Let's go. everyone i'm coming down here wow all right that was pretty cool the only thing the only thing i wish i could have done was preserve as much of that teal as possible and that ocean blue but i couldn't do it um in the fact that we were trying to really stretch out these amazing fingerlings look at those things oh wow guys that's beautiful 
Um, but yeah, I would have loved to have that teal blue channel in here. That would have been great, but it just didn't happen. I, I had to stretch that out way too much just to get those fingerlings to uh, to really just pop out. Wow, so much metallics in there. It, you know, I was I was almost I was almost expecting more of the gold and the bronze and the espresso to really just you know hold its ground, but. And ultimately what happened was my mistake putting so much yellow also with those blues because you can see we ended up with a very, very, very green pour. I'm just cleaning up right now, by the way. Just wondering why, why my hand's not in there. But yeah, we ended up with a very green pour, which look, hey, sometimes you can't overly predict some things that are happening. Like that first roll coming out of the cup, it just rolled right over the top. So mixing in that green and yellow right underneath. So I didn't like that at all. But I do like this. So the outcome definitely outweighed the whole method. So, whew, it's late. I am, it's so late and I'm so chatty. Okay, let's torch this baby. Whew, here we go. I do love the lines in here, by the way. I just have to point that out for a second. These lines are so great. Wow. All right, here we go. I, I don't want to generate a lot of cells at all. Because um, I really want these fingerlings to just stay stay the way they are. And really, the close-up is going to show you guys so much more. Especially with the oxide, the yellow oxide, really pops up here. And I'm hoping, I do have a, a, a palette coming out. Probably, uh, you know, it's actually going to be um, on the other channel. Do I pick my pour with... Um, more like a pumpkin theme and i think this is beautiful right here that would work would have worked great for that so all right that's it so hang tight we're gonna go for that close-up and always thank you for hanging out thank you for spending your time with me i love doing this and i love doing this for you so with that being said i will see you later bye